Well, as you can tell, I'm in another hotel room today. 16 of the last 22 days I have spent traveling across the country, staying in various Marriott's. I'll tell you what, I'm going for winning day number six in a row today. I better keep on winning because when that Marriott bill comes due at the end of the month, it's going to be ugly. Hi everyone, Adam Marco here, and this is going to be your Saturday video report. Listen, three and one start with college football freebies already after cashing in with a 2-0 and sweep last Saturday among the winners. Of course, Clemson getting the job done against Georgia and also gave you Northern Illinois at that time as well. And last night in baseball, gave you another free winner with the Toronto Blue Jays. So an overall free pick run of 39-24. and not one, not two, but three college football freebies coming your way in just a moment. A lot of hot handicappers to talk about. Let's get right to it. Guys, Craig Davis, as I've told you many, many times, football is his specialty. Now, that does not mean that he doesn't excel in all sports because if you've been a regular follower over the years, you know he does. But let's face it, this is the guy that used to be the president of FantasyFootball.com. This is a guy who has spent over the past decade simply concentrating day in, day out on football, college and pro, and the results speak for themselves. Well, today, biggest college play of his career, 100 dime winner, number 18 out of 24. It's what he is calling his road route of the year. Uh, his uh, last 100 dime play, you may recall, with the Seattle Seahawks in week number three of the NFL preseason, getting the job done at Lambeau against the Packers. And this play, to put it in perspective for you, is bigger then his fifth straight Super Bowl winner, a 75-dime play on the Ravens this past February. And 25-dime shock, dog shocker as he goes for a 2-0 sweep here for Saturday. That is available from for Craig Davis. Um, Brian Rosica. It has been a long time coming, but today he's got it. What he calls the Holy Grail play, 100-dime release. In fact, 100-dime winner, number 9 out of 12. It goes on the Saturday night card. Uh, $10 betters up $10,945 following Brian's advice since he joined the site last year on February 5th. Overall winner, number 19 out of 29, but more importantly, 100 dime holy grail winner number nine out of 12 he's off to a 2 and 0 starting college football they were both 50 dime plays last saturday alabama getting the job done against virginia tech and then on monday florida state kicking pittsburgh's ass on the road this play of course today is twice as strong um let me give you one of the promos today well you know what guys let me quickly tell you who else is hot who else is not because i think it just makes it a little easier for you so you can have a sense of what's going on at the site and remember if i tell you who's hot i got to tell you who's not that's the bottom line uh, anthony red going for college winner number five in a row today it's also his second consecutive 80 dime football release north texas and ohio um friday 60 dime side winner number six out of eight was central florida crushing florida international 38 to nothing Great game, trust me. I had Central Florida in that one as well. So A-Red's got that play going. Uh, Trace Adams going for winning day number 44 out of, uh, I'm sorry, he has won 44 out of 67 days, including 21 of the last 32. Uh, $1 betters up a little over $24,000 over the past 10 weeks. Today, raised a bar winner number 1,500 star release number 11 out of 14. Normally, a 1,000 star plays as top rated selection. This play is bigger once again, raised the bar, 1,500 star winner number 11 out of 14. So those are among some of the hot handicappers here at the site for you right now. Um, if I want to talk about who's not, I guess I have to be talking about Jeff Benton, who yesterday was going for 75 dime winner number 13 out of 16. He had the Blue Jays and the Twins under the total. He lost that play. Again, it was 75 dime winner number 13 out of 16. And the $5 play of the day yesterday lost with uh, Brett Atkins as it was his selection yesterday is the $5 play in that loss. So there's your rundown for today. Let me talk about a couple of coupons that can save you a hell of a lot of money today. As you know, every single Saturday, uh, I've been doing this now for well over a year and a half. I've got a coupon that can save you potentially hundreds of dollars today. Um, here's the deal, guys. If you use this coupon code, SAVE21, SAVE21, S-A-V-E and the number 21, it will save you 21% off your total purchase price today. Total purchase price. It's a mix and match coupon. 
you can buy handicappers picks, you can buy the packages, it doesn't matter what you buy, the only caveat is you've got to put everything in your shopping cart at one time. So for example, if you come in and get Craig Davis's 100 dime play and then think that two hours later you can get Brian Rusica's 100 dime play and save 21% off of each of them, it doesn't work that way. Everything has to be put in your shopping cart at one time to save 21% off your total purchase price and that's where the potential savings could add up to hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, listen, you can also create your own coupon if you'd like today. If you'd like to save $21 off of any purchase here today, it's a one-time usage coupon. Just use this coupon code, $21, 21-D-O-L-L-A-R-S, and I'll save you $21 off a single purchase. Uh, the $5 play of the day, I'm turning to Scott Delaney. Last night, 25 dime football winner on Boston College over Wake Forest. Today, 25 dime winner number two in a row. It's his total of the month. It's on one of your last games on the board, Arizona and UNLV. It's the $5 play of the day. Uh, normally, it would cost you $55. You get it for 5 bucks by using his last name, Delaney. Delaney. It's that easy. D-E-L-A-N-Y. Oops. <laughs> D-E-L-A-N-E-Y. But then again, you know, Scott and I were, were tight. So if I mess up his name, that's life. But here, the bottom line is this, guys. $10 bettors have won a little over $7,100 following his betting advice in all sports over the past nine years and a half months. So those are your coupons. Remember, they are also available on the home page. Uh, if you ever have any question about any of the coupons, you can certainly contact customer service. As I said, for me personally, I'm going for uh, winning day number six in a row today. It's just a five dime play. Uh, I think it's the biggest blowout on today's card. It's just as strong as last night's five dime winner on Central Florida. And um, hey, FYI, there's a promo involving me today. If you want to save $100 off my uh, 30 days of service package, uh, simply use the coupon code, my last name, DeMarco, and the number 100. DeMarco and the number 100. It's been a nice week. Of course, Thursday is the $5 play of the day. You got my uh, 15 dime uh, opening total of the year with the uh, Broncos and the Ravens going over the post price. Now, let's talk about the free selections here uh, for today's card. And I'll do these in reverse chronological order. Going at 4 o'clock Eastern time, guys, I like Wyoming minus the 28 points at home against Idaho. Um, you know, Wyoming gave Nebraska all the Cornhuskers could handle in Lincoln last week. As a 31-point dog, they only lost 37-34. to They had 35 first downs in that game. So much for Bo Pelini's defense this year. 602 total yards in that contest. Meanwhile, the Vandals took the money and allowed North Texas to open playing at home last Saturday. Got Wallop 42-6. 40-6 as a 16-point road dog. Defense allowed 404 yards passing. But listen, the defense only had three starters back, so it's not real surprising. And Wyoming quarterback Brett Smith, last week against Nebraska, 29 for 43, uh, 383 yards and four touchdowns. And he also ran for 92 yards. And last year against Idaho, he passed for 354 and a career-high five touchdowns. Now, the Vandals are only 312 and one against the spread in their last 16 games. Idaho, as I said, a very young team, just 10 returning starters, three new starters in the secondary. So I believe that Smith will be able to take advantage of their experience. Um, you know, they allowed North Texas, not a great passing team, to complete 85% of their passes and uh, throw for over 349 yards, but that's not really surprising because last year opponents completed 65% of their passes against that secondary and scorched them for 276 yards per game and even worse on the year. Opponents last year, 27 touchdown passes, 9 interceptions against that Idaho defense. So I will go with Wyoming as the first pick. The next pick, I'm looking for North Carolina uh, to rebound after getting dominated to no one's surprise, uh, by South Carolina in on the road last week. But listen, now it's a step down in class. Today, North Carolina returns back to Chapel Hill. They're taking on Middle Tennessee State. Uh, Middle Tennessee State's quarterback, uh, Logan Kilgore, um, suffered a shoulder injury in their uh, opening game against Western Carolina. He will play today. Um, but I'm expecting North Carolina's offense to get cranking with uh, Bren Renner, Renner uh, leading the charge. I mean, listen, UNC has won 14 consecutive games straight up at home against nine ACC foes, going 10-3 and three against the spread in those 13 of those 14 games that were actually lying. Uh, this Middle Tennessee State defense um, has allowed 253 yards a game passing last year, allowing opponents to complete almost 68% of their passes. Um, UNC covered five out of seven as a home favorite last year. Uh, Middle Tennessee State, 
gave up 425 yards uh, in offense to opposing teams uh, in 9 of 12 games a year ago, right? That's why they were ranked number 92 in the country with their overall defense. Uh, one of their top defensive tackles is not going to probably play today. Remember, this isn't South Carolina. This is Middle Tennessee State. This game isn't on the road. This game is in um, Chapel Hill. Um, you know, last year, North Carolina put up at least 410 yards in total offense in every single game. So I'll go ahead and I'll lay the 17 and a half points here with North Carolina in this contest. And your final pick is probably the riskiest pick on the board. Al Golden has been resuscitating this Miami of Florida program now for a few years. I think today he finally gets that signature win against Florida. Yeah, I know the Gators held Toledo to 205 yards of total offense last week in Gainesville. And I know that Jeff Driscoll had a decent game, 17 for 22, 153 yards. And I know Florida won, even though their top running back, Matt Jones, didn't play among six suspended players. But they only won 24 to 6 in that game. Who said Toledo was that good? I like the fact that, uh, you know, Miami has an experienced backfield tandem with Stephen Morris at quarterback and Duke Johnson at running back, 186 yards rushing in pack last week against Florida Atlantic. Um, listen, Miami was 3 0 ATS as a dog last year. They have no look ahead game, they've got a bye, and then they play Savannah State. So this is everything for them. Um, Miami has 18 returning starters. Florida only 10. Florida lost so much talent-wise to the NFL draft. So much defensively. You know, Florida only has three starters back on defense this year. Um, so I'm going to go with Miami. Do I think that Miami's defense is anywhere near as good as Florida's? No. But I just don't see it happening with that Florida offense so far. So even though they got the veteran offensive line, even though they got Matt Jones coming back, even though they got Jeff Driscoll who had a good week one performance, this is the game for Miami. You know, since the Hurricanes left the Orange Bowl in 2008, this is going to be the most heavily attended game. Uh, I think over 77,000 expected or something for this game. So finally, I'm gonna go with Miami of Florida. They're catching three points. I think they're going to win this game outright. So that'll do it for today, guys. Best of luck to you all, and I will catch you again on Sunday.